question five, how do you incorporate consumer uh, reviews into my digital advertising? So this speaks back to our reviews, right? How important are our reviews in digital? Super important. Again, same stat we showed before, but we know that they're important because the consumers are telling us that they are. Because the, the placement on our business listings and other places are, are forcing them into importance right now. So even without evaluating uh, exactly what you, where you are at with reviews and what's going on, uh, it's happening, right? So, so consider what customers find when they seek out your reviews. They're looking for them today, and they're showing up in, in places like you can see here, your rating is showing up uh, on your organic results. We saw that it was showing up in Google My Business. These ratings are out there, so it's best to get control of them. Some ways we think that you could use reviews beyond just the what do I look like out there. Uh, once you get, start, start the process of uh, having a good review strategy, uh, review strategy of deciding, you know, all right, so I'm getting reviews, I'm getting them regularly, I like the strategy, I like the way I look. How do you then uh, uh, start to leverage that? So a few things that we've seen successful dealers do uh, is start taking those reviews and feeding them into your website, feeding them into your BDPs, getting them into your BDPs. And uh, uh, so that's your product page, right? So what do, you, what do you expect when you buy products in your personal life? You expect to see reviews on it. Amazon shoppers know that the first thing that you're gonna do once you decide on, on a product is you're looking to say, oh, what do people have to say about this? So why not start leveraging the reviews that you have in your product pages, in your credit app? Credit apps and trade-ins, I think, are, are such a huge source of engagement that, that we miss. We look at how many did they complete, right? Well, there's a lot of people that use credit app tools, trade-in tools, payment calculators. Um, they use them up until the point where they have to identify themselves, right? So, and then they, they use them up to that point and then they abandon because they're really just using them as a tool. They maybe aren't ready to talk to you yet, but why not have some reviews alongside that that add to the trust of, hey, this is a dealership that you can trust. This isn't just a um, you know, trade-in tool that, that is, is on their website and they're just trying to get your email. Uh, start injecting some reviews that say, hey, I had a really good experience by talking to such and such here at, at this dealership. Um, he made financing a breeze. Why wouldn't that be on your credit app? So that it, it, it gives, again, it gives that personal touch. So those are some ways, using them within your service specials. Um, everybody knows that there's a lot of fear and trepidation if we're going in for service. You expect that it's gonna be a big repair order. Start putting in reviews from your service department. Um, you know, they did such a great job meeting me uh, where I work and dropping me off. My car was fixed correctly. Uh, and the, these types of things on there, again, it just gives that human nature. Uh, but it starts with asking them, you know, how are we leveraging my reviews today in my marketing? And if the answer is we aren't, then you can just say, hey, I'd like to start. Let's, let's get the ideas going. And again, just going back to Google My Business, they're right there for the world to see. Whether you want them to be there or not, they're there today. So it just makes sense to have a strategy around it.